Welcome, students, to your English time with Teacher JM. How are you today? I hope that you are all doing fine. This is a new quarter. Believe that the Lord has done it this very day. So let us rejoice today and be glad. Despite 2020 issues, let us all be thankful and glad that we are all safe and alive. So, let us all welcome this new year with positive vibes and make connections with the Lord our Savior. That can be done through obeying with the authorities, parents, teachers, and our online class house rules. For this quarter, let us use our time wisely. Make sure to finish your task on time. If you missed out something, replay the video. So let us start our first lesson in quarter two, which is making connections. Our objectives for this quarter, first, make connections between texts to particular social issues, concerns, or dispositions in real life. Second, identify and differentiate the different ways in making connections. Before we start, let us first watch this poem by Alfred Lord Tennyson. Let us continue. I have here some questions. So what you are going to do is to reflect if this relates to you and the world you live in by answering the questions that follows. What do sunset and evening stars symbolize? What does turns against home stanza to mean? Who is the entity referred to by the word pilot in stanza 4? What does crossing the bar mean? How can you relate the meaning of the poem to your personal experiences? Can you associate this with other people's experiences? Explain. After answering it, you may submit your answer in your Google Classroom classwork. So let me define to you what is connections. It is the action of linking or connecting one person or one thing with another. Brain research tells us that Connecting the text to your own experiences allows you to understand better. So when we connect the text from our experiences, it allows us to understand much more. When you ask yourself, what does this remind me of? You have opened a mental file in your brain where new 
information can go. Did you know? To so every text, a reader brings his or her personality, present mood, and memories, making each person's experience of text almost unique, almost as unique as a fingerprint. Print. That is from Laura Rob. Strategic readers. Connect rapidly with the text without thinking about it. Stick new information in their short and long-term memory by hooking old information with the new. So we connect our old experiences with the new experiences. That is how you can become a strategic reader. Well, with this strategy, you can relate to the characters, connect to the plot, imagine the setting or place, visualize taste, smell, feel or hear the text. Predict or infer what will happen in the text. Think what you know about a topic or word. Help fill emotions related to the text. And of course, pay attention. When do you use the strategy of making connections? Of course, before reading. Before reading, just after reading the title, we already make connections. Just like the poem that we read a while ago. During the reading, we make connections while we are reading. The way we visualize it, the way we smell, feel those stanza from the poem or from the story. And of course, after reading, when we have the clear picture of everything already, we make connections. There are different types of connections. The first one is the text to self. What do we mean by text to self? Do you have an idea? Of course, Text-to-self connections are actually personal connections that you can make between yourself and the selection you are dealing with. So we are connecting ourselves to the selection that we are dealing with. Previous experiences, emotions, or opinions may be similar to the ones present in the materials. We must always make sure, or we always know it, that the previous ideas or experiences that we have in life may be similar to the one that we have in the present. It is a highly personal connection that a reader makes between a piece of reading material and the reader's own life experiences. Text to self, a connection between a book and your life or experiences. So that is what we mean by text to self. So I have here a few questions about text to self. What does this text remind me of? So when you are reading, you can ask these several questions. What does this text remind me of? Did I have a similar experience in any way? What did I see and hear while reading it? How did I feel during, before, during, or after reading it? Am I bringing meaning to the words to help me read better? So let's try this one. On your own, try this one. My brother and I were playing around. When things got out of hand, as we were wrestling around on the floor, my foot kicked the glass coffee table 
and smashed it into pieces. What does it remind you of? Does it remind you if you ever fight with a relative? Did we ever break an object? What was it? How did it happen? How did an adult react? All right, so stay focused. You might want to say, I have a brother, and end your connection with that statement. You might want to react that it also happened in the past with you and your brother or your sibling. And then there came your mother, right? And what was the reaction? But... Be more specific and relate your experience of fighting with your brother and also breaking something. Be a thoughtful reader. Are you a thoughtful reader? Remember, some connections are more relevant or helpful than others. Ask yourself, does this connection help me understand the text? Now, we have the second types of connections. This is the text to text. Text to text connections are connections where you relate one material to another that you have read or have already come across. So this is while you are reading and you, again, remember a certain text where you have come across with. Text might be from a similar author, same theme or topic, same genre, and the like. What does this remind me of in another book I have read? How is this text similar to other things I have read? Have you read something the same as the one that you are reading right now? How is it different from other books I have read? Have I read about something like this before? Have you encountered the same theme or genre or plot? You already know so much. If you read a lot, you already know so much. In a fiction story, you might encounter a lot of same genre, same plot, same setting, same conflict. What literary elements would you expect to find? Examples, setting, characters, conflict. And you might find it similar to each other. What dialogue would you expect? What problems would be likely? In a nonfiction story, you might be asking these few questions. What text forms would it have? Example, table of contents, glossary, bold-faced words, graphs, tables, Chapter summary, you may find it similar to each other. What terms would you expect to find? Maybe some of the terms are similar as well. How could information be organized? Time order, time order or cause and effect? Connect with this. What story does this lion remind you of? Can you remember something? Do you remember something, a story, the same 
or with a lion? Did you think of the movies The Lion King or The Lion, The Witch, The Wardrobe? What else? Did you think of Kipling's The Jungle Book? Is that lion similar or different to the main character of your book? Think about that. Text to text. Think of books you've read as you read the following text. Okay, let's try this one. I want you all to think of that books that you have read while we are going to read this text. The wizard looked up at the stars. Surely, the lunar eclipse was a bad omen. He knew he had to tell the king quickly before the marriage ceremony started. Let's try. Are you now imagining something? Is that a fiction or non-fiction? Answer it on your own. What type of story or genre is this likely to be? What events are likely to happen? What other text does this remind you of? Have you read a book about a wizard and astronomy? Comparisons are natural. So when we compare, it is natural. Use Venn diagrams to see how these stories are similar and different from what you know. This is a Venn diagram. So, of course, we have the differences at the outer part and we have the similarities on the inner part where they intersect. Now we have the third type of connections, which is the text to world. What about text to world? Text to world connections are the larger connections that a reader brings to a reading situation, including our perception of the word, which might vary since we have various sources of learning things beyond personal experiences. Sample given, television, radio, magazines, articles, movies, and more. Text to word is a connection between a book and events in the real world. What does this remind me of in the real world? So that will be the question that you might be asking yourself. During the time that you are reading, maybe during, before or after. How is this text similar to things happening in the real world? Do you have some stories or things that happen in the real world that is the same as the story or to the story? How is this different from things happening in the real world? How does this part relate to the world around me? What specific facts do you know about this subject? So you can make a web. You can begin the KWL chart. You may have read about the topic or heard about it in class, at home, in a newspaper, or television, or on the internet. Connect with this. Unlike Iraq, which most experts agreed was five to seven years away from developing its own nuclear weapons, there is broad agreement that North Korea is only months away. So that is from Claire Field of Newsday. So how are you going to connect with this? What do you know about nuclear weapons? Or these stories, do you know something about it?
President Bush was concerned about weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. North Korea became a security threat when it announced its intention to do the nuclear testing. United States dropped nuclear bombs in Japan in the World War II. So have you make connections? Dig deeper. The dictator Kim Jong III threatened to turn all fuel rods into weapons-grade plutonium. The world realizes that the risk of more nuclear weapons affects everyone. If North Korea has nuclear devices, it could sell the weapons to terrorists. As you read, what are you thinking? Come on, don't be shy. Connect with the text. Copy quotes and make notes. This reminds me of... What does it remind you of? Be a strategic reader. Be an strategic reader. So let us practice. Get your pen and paper and practice this one. What type of connection is this? I read a book about how grocery stores get their food. It reminded me of the grocery trucks that drive by on the highway every day. So what type of connection is this? If you've answered text to word, you got it right. Now, second, what type of connection is this? I read a book about what life was like before electricity. It reminded me of the time I went camping in a cabin that had no electricity. So, this is a text to self. Number three, what type of connection is this? I read a nonfiction book about how to get better at tennis. It reminded me of last summer when I attended a tennis camp to improve my skills. What type of connection is this? If you've answered text to self, you got it right. Now let's go to number four. What type of connection is this? I read a chapter a book about a girl who works in a factory in New York. It reminded me of an article that I read in school about child labor laws. What type of connection is this? If you've answered text to text, you got it right. Number five, what type of connection is this? I read a story about a boy who visited a magical land with witches and wizards. It reminded me of the book Harry Potter. Yes, this is a text to text. You got it right again. Now, let us go to our learning task. Learning task one read the selection and excerpt from President Obama's presidential proclamation by Martin Luther King Jr. day on January 15, 2010. It is posted on your Google Classroom classwork and answer the questions that follows after the text. Also, answer the what I have learned. Questions will be posted on your Google Classroom as well. The link will be posted in your Google Classroom about making connections. 
So, answer it and turn in after. Then, answer the learning task 2. Reread the selection and learning task 1. Then, accomplish the community connection reading response. Graphic organizer posted in your Google Classroom classwork. Synthesizing one's learning by completing this statement, I have found out that, what have you found out? From now on, I, what are you going to do from now on? So that is our lesson for this week. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy listening to my video presentation. Goodbye, class.